In this video, we'll cover how to create basic interactions like linking to a page, opening pop up windows, and showing multiple paths. Select a widget in the wireframe and you can edit its interactions in the Interactions tab of the Widget Properties pane. In the Interactions tab, you'll see a list of events. Different widgets respond to different events. For example, this hyperlink widget responds to on click, on mouse enter, and on mouse out. Let's create a link on the home page that goes to the login page. First, select the on-click event and double-click, or click on Add Case. This opens the Case Editor dialog. The list of actions you can choose from are on the left side. For the login link, we want to open link in current window. You can add multiple actions to perform in one case. In this middle section, you can organize the actions. We only want to open a link, so let's delete the extra actions using the drop-down menu. On the right side, you can configure the action, and we're going to choose to open the login page. There are other options, including linking to an external URL, reloading the current page, or going back to the previous page. If you are just creating a basic link, there's a shortcut. Click Quick Link in the Interactions tab and choose the page you want to open. Let's generate the prototype and see what we've got. Clicking on the login link takes us to the login page like we wanted. An event can have multiple cases to show different possible outcomes. For example, we can set up this login button to either take you to the My Account page or open a pop-up window that shows an error message. To do this, we'll add two cases to the on-click event on the login button. In the first case, we'll change the case description to If Login Succeeds and add an action to open the My Account page. In the second case, we'll set the case description to if login fails and add an action to open the error message page in a pop-up window. You can edit the properties of the pop-up window like size and which browser elements should be available. Let's generate the prototype again. Clicking the login button shows us the two case descriptions. Clicking If Login Fails opens a pop-up window with the error message. Clicking If Login Succeeds takes us to the My Account page. You can also add conditions to the cases to perform the appropriate path without choosing from the descriptions. You can learn more about that in the Conditional Logic article. And that concludes the Basic Interactions demo. If you have questions, email us at support at or tweet us at ActureRP.